Hi, my name is Nicole and now I want to tell you about the terrible secret kept by my grandmother. Each year I waited impatiently because I would be spending the summer in the village with my grandmother. As soon as the summer holidays began, my parents sent me to live with her. It seemed to me that they sent me to her with pleasure to avoid my whims for the summer. While I was little, my grandmother was always a gentle and caring old woman. But when I started to grow up, I began to realize that my grandmother was keeping some kind of secret. At first, I thought that I was imagining it, but then I began to realize that something wasn't right. Grandma got up very early. It seemed she hadn't been to sleep at all. When I went to bed, she was still busy in the garden, and when I opened my eyes in the morning, I smelled wonderful aromas coming from the kitchen. My grandmother fed me fresh vegetables from the garden and even brought me strawberries picked in the forest. But still, something wasn't right, and I became more and more suspicious. It all happened in the summer when I was 13. I arrived on the last bus. It was already evening. When I saw her from the bus window, she seemed very lonely. At first, she seemed unfamiliar to me. But then, as I looked closer, I recognized my grandmother. Forgetting all the strange thoughts in my head, I got off the bus and hugged her tightly. She was very glad to see me. We went home and sat down to a hot, delicious dinner. I told her about my successes in school, especially about the competitions I'd won. Before going to bed, my grandmother gave me a pair of pajamas to wear. When I changed clothes, my grandmother looked at me strangely. I had never seen her look at me this way before. She asked me about my parents and my life in the city. We talked and talked for another two hours. It was all very interesting. After all, this was the dear person whom I loved most of all in the world. The summer holidays flew by day after day. The sun and the river occupied most of my time. But one thing made me stop and think. Grandmother began to cut firewood with a chainsaw. I'd never seen that before. Then suddenly the chain broke and struck her leg with all of its might. Blood gushed and poured out on her skirt for a minute. But she didn't seem upset and did not utter a word, did not even a groan. Silently, as if not feeling the pain at all, she calmly entered the house and treated her wound. I suggested her bandage her leg, but for some reason she refused. I decided that she did not want to frighten me with a gaping wound and all the bleeding, so she quickly wrapped her bandana around her leg and returned to her normal routine. Everything was the same as usual, but this was only the beginning of my discoveries. One morning, I was awakened by a loud roar of a tractor. Opening the window, I peered out and saw a man messing around with the tractor's motor. He was a man for sure, with hair that fell below his shoulders. He appeared strong. His muscles spoke testified to that. Then suddenly, I saw the bandana around his leg. I screamed. There was my grandma's collar bandana around his leg. Oh God, I whispered. Is my grandmother a man? My head was swimming around, and so I fell onto the bed and began to look for explanations. I squeezed my eyes tightly as if trying to squeeze what I had seen out of them, and then I dozed off. I opened my eyes when I felt a light touch. Grandma stroked my head and said as if purring, Wake up, or you will die of hunger. I looked at her head and saw that her hair was combed into a ponytail. Her eyes shone with love and tenderness. Her hands were dark and rough from all the work in the garden. What was the situation? Did I invent the whole thing or did I just dream it? Anyway, I decided to wait for Saturday to check it out. So I waited till Grandma went into the bathhouse. Then I peered through a small window in the side of the building. There in front of me was the man I had seen in the morning. I was so surprised that I was frozen in place, unable to move. Then suddenly he saw me. We just looked straight into each other's eyes. I ran home and in a few minutes my grandmother came in. She asked me to just listen and hear her out. Then she told me her secret. My grandmother is a transvestite. Everyone used to call him Michael. One day he met a girl named Anna. He loved her very much and soon she became pregnant. But then during the birth, Anna and the newborn girl both died. After that, he decided to remain faithful to his bride and to live alone. In memory of his daughter, he adopted a little homeless girl. She looked just like Anna. That girl was my mother. When Mama grew up, I was born, and I was the first to know the true story. Grandma was crying because she was so afraid of losing us. I reassured her and said that no one would ever have to know her secret. Kissed me and thanked me for understanding and not leaving her. Soon, she took out some old photos and showed me her Anna. She was actually looking a lot like me and my mom. Looking at these photos, we laughed and talked as if nothing had ever happened.
Then I realized that not everything that is true must be revealed. Sometimes pleasant lies are much, much better. Others have the right to secrecy. Would you like to see more episodes? Support us by hitting like and subscribe and turning on notifications. If you want to see your story in one of our videos, send it to this email address.